Hey, this is Matthew from the Office of Instructional Technology, and I am here to show you how to add apps to your Windows 10 desktop using Microsoft Edge. So what do I mean by that? Well, apps are you know, programs on a computer, and you can add a website as an app on your device through Edge. And so a couple that I've done this with include, well, ClassLink. So I now have a button on my desktop where I can open up ClassLink. Okay, so notice this doesn't look like it's a web browser. Uh, what actually happens if I click on something on ClassLink is it then opens in a web browser. ClassLink itself here is functioning as an app. And so this video that you're watching is in Microsoft Stream. And so that's another one that I added here. And I can open right up into Stream, which is um, on the internet. Okay, it is a web app, but I'm able to open it as if it was an app right here on my desktop. And I can get to videos just like I would directly in the browser here on my desktop. All right, so the way that I did this was I opened up Microsoft Edge. Uh, Edge, you're able to log in just like in Chrome now. In fact, you use the exact same login. So you can see I am logged in with my AACPS account. And what we do is we use the three dots to the right here. So I'm going to use Blackboard as an example. So here we have ClassLink. I open up Blackboard. And I click on those three dots. And I go down to Apps. What I want to do is install this website as an app on my device. So I click there. You can change the name if you like. So I can, uh, although this one indicates that it will log me in as well. So I'm going to go ahead and just leave that name as is. And so where did it put this? Well, I click here to search for it. I can see, first of all, it is right there because it's recent. But if I search for Blackboard, just type in the first couple of letters, um, I can now right click here and choose to uh, pin. I already have it pinned to my start menu because I've had it here before. I can also pin it to my taskbar, which means put it down here. Um, but in my start menu, I should be able to see there's Blackboard right there. But again, that's recent. I want to see where it is here. And it looks like I put it right down here. And this is also adjustable as well. So if it's something that I use on a regular basis, uh, it does, when I click there, open to the top. But uh, So I, I like to put things I use a lot either right at the top or right at the bottom. Right? So you have the ability to move that around as well. So now when I click on that, it takes me right into Blackboard. Uh, what happens if I log out? I'm not entirely sure. <laughs> Let's give this a try. Uh, I also pinned it to my taskbar, so we'll click on it here. And now uh, I would qualify as this button. So do I need to... Uh, no, so it does remember my credentials as well. All right, so um, I logged out, but it remembers who I am. So when I click that login button, um, it gets me right in. So this is, again, uh, taking websites and making them apps on your desktop. So I could do that with, say, Google Meet. And click there, and I can add this also as an app on my computer as well. That's not typically the way I use Meet, so I'm not going to do that one in particular. But uh, Obviously, you already have ClassLink available here, so it's um, not as much of an advantage to do this with things on ClassLink as it would be to do with things that you wish were on ClassLink. But uh, by all means, if, if there's something on here that you use on a regular basis, you are able to add that as an app as well. I'll try that now with Tech Connections. Right? So it's essentially making this web page an app. So we, we think of Tech Connections as you know, a, a web site. It's a web page. So it's not a, it's not a program like Stream. It's not a program like, like Blackboard is. Uh, but really, you can see that you can do this with absolutely any web page. Turn that web page into an app on your Windows 10 device.